Right on. Cool. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris at Small Circle. With me is the basketball guru, Mr. Eddie Flores. What's yeah, going on, brother? Bro. Chilling, man. You all right? Good to be back. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good to be back. Yeah. Good. You've been on a vacation, huh? Man, I just got back from San Antonio with the family, bro. How was that? Man, it was amazing, man. It I know was, you we had Airbnb, and stuff. Yeah, we had a nice little house up in the hill country. That's the way there. to go, huh? Yeah, dude. It really is. Kids loved it. So we had our own private land and the house was amazing. And then I think we kind of ruined it because I heard a lot of good things about this Wimberley, Texas. Yeah. These, these 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 water holes they got over there. We went over there, bro. I swear to God, it was like San Jacinto River, bro. And they charge us. They charge us thirty dollars to get into San Jacinto River. And just San. It was horrible, bro. It was horrible, bro. That's probably have some kind of STD. <laughs> right on. <laughs> hey, well, anyway, uh, we're here to talk sports, basketball, all that stuff, whatever. Um, mainly basketball because a lot of moves, a lot of moves. Definitely, right? <clears throat> Free agency, oh. trades, all that stuff, whatever. Dude, it was, He's it been was... doing his homework over someone, man. Times, but... I'm rusty. Yeah, I've been out of the game. When I was doing fantasy, man, I was all over it, man. But oh, yeah. You ain't doing I, fantasy I no more? I don't do NBA fantasy, man. I, I think it's it's too addicting, man. I stay on it, and it causes causes trouble to me, bro. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm one of those competitive-ass dudes, bro, Yeah. that if I'm in something, I'm going to try to win, and I'm not just in it just to be a body, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to try to win it, and by doing so, next year, news. I had to lie to my girl. I, oh my god, my stomach hurt. I gotta go to the restroom again. You know, god dang. You got to. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in there like 20 minutes. Like, what did you do? And she's thinking the worst the whole time. I'm on NBA fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to pick up who's injured, who's coming up. You know, she's on WebMD. Yeah. <laughs> She's over here tracking, couldn't figure out what the hell, who are you talking to? That's no, hilarious. but no, it's, it, it's very addicting and it can it can really take control of me. Yeah. So I kind of had to lay low on the NBA fantasy, but I still follow it somewhat. I say, yeah, I'm not that serious, but no, I, know, I know you, uh, before we get started, man, I wanted to thank you very much for shouting out a small circle on the uh, ESPN 97.5. Already, man. Already. Yeah, for, for those that don't know, I don't know if you guys listen to ESPN 97.5, but my boy yeah. Eddie called in or whatever and talked to uh, who was it? What's it was uh, uh, John Granado and uh, old Lance. Lance. Yeah, right. Lance. Yeah, there you go. So I yeah. called the him bench, up. right? Wasn't it the, the bench? bench? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah we called all the called time. Up, you called up there, so yeah, I was about to say Nestor and you and uh, the, yeah, you know, call we up used to have stuff. a little thing going on. We kind of yeah, yeah, they kinda, yeah. I got tired of getting suspended out. all the damn time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just retired it, you know. Right on. So I I just had to throw a shout out for the whole small circle because yeah, man, it's something that we're trying. To, we're trying to help build, man. You for know, sure, not 100, man. It's not for fun. Yeah, you know, it not, this it, is work, right? I just clocked in. Yeah, exactly. If we have some fun, it's it, you know, that's nah, a perk. It it's fun for bro. sure. It's definitely All right, fun. man. Uh, well, before I hit record, uh, one of the things that I was talking to him about was, and before we get into the NBA, was wanted to touch on the WNBA. I don't want to get too political on it, but. For those don't don't know, uh, Brittany Griner, she's over in Russia. She got detained over there for uh, having like uh, cartridges of hash or something like that, right on the pin or something, right? Yeah. Which they're you're not supposed to have that over there anyway. Yeah. yeah. Right. But um, she got detained for you know because the war broke off, broke out or whatever you know while she was over there. Would they get her for like distribution or something? Well, I mean, was it that much? I don't nah, know. Just... nah. I really, to be honest, I just think that they were looking for a, a, a reason, reason to yeah. detain. American, you know what I mean? Un-American, you know, and especially for well, they got the wrong of that high that high level, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, for those that don't know Brittany Griner, she's from she's a Houston native. He. She yeah. <laughs> he. It's, it's, <laughs> she's like the LeBron of WNBA, I guess they with they would say. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah she's so, but uh anyway, she uh she's over there in Russia. What you know, and for those to fill you in a little bit she hates america she doesn't like the way she, uh, she gets treated she don't like yeah. the way you know black people get treated she don't like the way you know, she's openly gay so she doesn't like the way the gays get treated and all this she was bashing trump whenever he was in office yeah um she was you know to just hated platform. america so one of the uh, the flag kneelers you know, all that or whatever mm-hmm. and stuff. So uh, she would stay in the locker room or she would kneel during the mm-hmm. national anthem. What, you know, what, if you are acting president, what do you do? Well, it sucks. It sucks because she's, she's kind of like, she's betraying right. her native 
you know, country, right. making it seem like this, her country's worst, and which in fact it is. I mean, it's 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 getting very very uh, pussified, I guess. <laughs> right. So, but at the end of the day, she she's an American. Yeah. You know. That's so true. I can't it, to the point. I mean, there's going to be Americans that are going to be against you with you but at the end of the day they're americans so i feel like at the end of the day i'll be a society you got to go get your your native people man you got to get your people if they're in a bind you know unfortunately it sucks yeah. you know it sucks pulling that trigger of gay hey, you know you got to do whatever you got to do to get her over here yeah because of how she's been acting towards us but at the end of the day she's an american you know so maybe by doing that maybe she'll flip her her stance on how she feels about this country you know i hope so you know maybe it, if that, yeah she's you know. so yeah me as acting president i probably would still have to go get her out you know she uh, i try to at least what amnesty or whatever right whatever the 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 the, the, the case is in order for people to get people but i know trump's gotten people out of, of jams before well she definitely changed her view on things for now because now she's you know writing to the president and stuff <laughs> help me and all this and everything like that yeah. and then you remember back in the day whenever trump was in office he helped out balls of uh was it a Le- lavar son, balls yeah. son the yep. new one g-lo or whatever uh, no, no, no no not leangelo Le- yeah, yeah 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 right guy. uh he got into some trouble over there or whatever. Yeah. And LeVar Ball was, or the Ball family was they openly against well, Trump. Yeah. And Trump yeah. still got him out. Yeah. So That's I what do I'm saying. Believe I feel like he feel if he, if he was, he was still in office. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. I think he would, he would do the same because it's, even though they were bashing him, you know, at the end of the day, it's nothing personal. And that's one thing you, right. you can't do. You got to hold your personal, you know, views, feelings, views right. and yeah. feelings towards anybody. And at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, that she's still an American. So you, right you got to get her over here. And, you know, that's what sets you apart, though. I think you make a bigger stance by doing that, you know, make, make you look like a bigger person. Yeah. But, <clears throat> but yeah, it sucks. And, you know, uh, I, I think what she she went ahead and just said, yeah, she pled guilty, I guess. Yeah, she she's pled looking guilty, for what, so, 10 years or something? Yeah, that's what they're saying. But now, but like, it's been hearsay that the, uh, the Russians are trying to use her to get a prisoner swap. Oh wow! Yeah, One of their like high we, level prisoners. Right. Yeah. Like, well, okay, okay, we'll swap. <clears throat> so you know, I, I don't oh, know. Well, Man, you do trades like that. You think they might get like a first round pick instead? <laughs> <laughs> Good God! We can do trades <laughs> on prisoners, <laughs> <We can> do- <laughs> bro. We'll get, give me a. We'll get the th- a- three first rounders for. <laughs> For, for Britney. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Dude. Give that's me hilarious. one of them child predators yeah. and I'll give you this one. What the <laughs> hell, bro? No. <laughs> anyway, bro. All right, man. Get into the NBA. What do you want to talk about? The Rockets? Start off with the Rockets. Why not, man? This is yeah. our, our, our squad, man. Yeah. Uh, shoot, They're looking uh, good, man. Bro, we looking young. We looking fast. What do you think of the pick? Uh, Jabari, Jabari Smith? Smart. Bro, I was thinking like like our boy, I was thinking, you know, uh, What's his name? By ben, ben Carroll. Nestor had Pacero. Yeah, that. right. Which I mean, he, yeah, he. I how the hell did yeah. that? The whole time they were they they everybody every source had Yo, Jabari ben going, Carroll going said, first ben, overall. I was reading, I was reading on what um, Ben Carroll's thought on it. He was said that he was going to Houston to the last minute until right. he got the phone call. At the last yeah. minute, it's like wow. It was a yeah, bluff was shocking, tactic, right? I think yeah. it was a bluff tactic. I think the Rockets killed it by letting their 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 picks who who they were settling with and i think they kind of all threw everything out but man i think ben curl was probably he looks nba ready already man yeah man it, you he know did pretty very good. mature dude. right which very i mean mature. you know it is summer league but but still though i mean it, you yeah. can kind of see you know how yeah, they're who's gonna, got it right yeah for exactly. sure and he's definitely got it jabari smith looks he looks 10 you know very um Shy. It he took him a he's, minute. He's gonna take him to, right. Yeah. He needs to be aggressive and and, and 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 you know dictate what what where what his position is on the team. Yeah. Once he gets that, I think once he gets aggressive, and I think that's what was that's why you saw that first game where he struggled. Yeah, know? exactly. Right. I think he just didn't know his spot. He just needs to be more right. confident and aggressive. That hey, dude, they you just you you know it's, it's a because mental, it's I a think if thing, he would have been right? picked number one, he'd been balling. Yeah, I think the whole getting like what I got surprised. I think that she should use that as as as, as more, fuel, as, as right? Fuel, bro, to right? prove it, like to prove the man. Like I'm like, I, I, like, like I screwed up. It would be <clears> right. Exactly. It would be a mission to make to make Ben Cheryl my bitch. Yeah. You know it's what I like mean? Jalen Green used right. that fuel. Yeah, right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Use that fuel as to man. Y'all, y'all really messed up on this one. Yeah. But the Rockets look sharp, man. I think they do definitely gonna need some veteran presence. And well, I'm I mean, not sure if that's why they're holding on to Eric Gordon. Maybe you know, but he's not vocal enough. I don't think as I mean, he's one of those can be a leader on the court, but I don't think he's vocal enough 
in the locker room to 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 yeah, put, to keep a team together. Yeah, I think we need more of a vocal, more of a you know, real vocal presence. You know, yeah. we just <clears throat> well, we just made the trade for Boban, right? Boban Marjanovic, though. Yeah, so he, he's <laughs> yeah. coming down here, dude. Yeah, I that know. Coming down here. That's I mean, crazy. He's a veteran, but like it's it's like you're saying though too. You know what I mean? It, like I think you need like a bigger vocal presence he could be somebody that can keep the locker room loose because i heard he's a real funny little yeah dude right yeah Yeah, right for sure for sure and we got i think we got trey burke and yeah we got a couple of little you know scrap that you know that we might we got them just to get rid of their their their, uh salaries here in the next year or so but uh i think man we're looking good man but the whole man i'm i'm really liking is jari easton bro easton easton man yeah he looks like he looks like the real deal already. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He walks with confidence, man. Like for real. Like he's this is like he knows he should have been, you know, a lot higher, you know. But I like I like what we got going. I'm not really too sure, uh too sure about Ty Ty Washington. Washington. He does uh I just too feminine of a face. You know, I just I don't, very I did very think, WNBA. I did, I did think it was a chick though, for real. I, <laughs> what I, I really did, did, dude. Yeah, I, I really did. Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? I mean, I can't uh, remember. That we got a chick playing in the NBA. So, <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I just I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure about him, but I, I feel like you know, with uh, with more playing time together, and uh, once we get you know established as a team and running, yeah. I think we got something special with Singoon. Shingun, uh, yeah, Shingun. Uh, we go, we go. I think we got some. We gonna we gonna make some noise, man. We are gonna make some noise. Eventually. Did you see? Uh, did you see uh, Chet getting manhandled by by that dude who I've been who I've been eyeing is uh, Kenny Lofton Jr. Man, that the kid, and in bro. Obi, he's is it Kevin Lofton? Kenny, it's Kevin Lofton. I, I think it's uh, Kevin. Yeah, I, don't Lofton. I don't think Kevin he's a Lofton junior. Jr. Yeah, or Big old third boy. or whatever. Big yeah, old boy. Dude. Hey, but he's swift. Hey. That that dude's got some, he's got some good feet for yeah. a big boy like that. Hey, he's got those those fadeaways, the the the, the little jukes, and yeah. uh, he's got the dream shake for some reason. I feel like he can be some. I think Memphis got themselves a nice little sleeper on that pick. Yeah. I really do. Uh, I, I like that. But Keegan Murray, man, who's I'm really impressed. I think I think the Kings are gonna be people writing them off, but I think they're a lot. They're 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 gonna do they're gonna do all right. They got a pretty good squad, man. I yeah, think they're gonna they're gonna be. All, I like their little squad for a young squad. Do you and, think uh, uh, you think the Rockets got a chance at a run this year? No, 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 no. Hey, no, which is better? I think too new. Which is gonna bring us more draft picks, and eventually we're gonna just trade. I think we're gonna trade for a veteran presence. So, I mean, because honestly, man, if you're if me if you're a veteran, and all you if you see the Rockets, let's say let's say I'm Kevin Durant. Right, and you see the Rockets, you know that all they need is a leader like yourself, right? And you're able, you're ready to make some noise. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I feel that's the same thing with like the Pelicans. You know, I think the Pelicans have a lot of assets that they can afford to get rid of. You know, somebody, and unfortunately, it would be uh, uh, what's his name? Um, what's his Brent? Wasn't it uh, the power forward, the little skinny dude, look, look just like Kevin Durant. Um, if they trade for him, shoot, I think Pelicans are there. Yeah. With, with, well, they got so many asses they can get rid of. They can yeah, get rid of. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what the hell? Is nah, nah, you Google it real quick for the Lakers, bro. Uh, but bro, I think, I think, uh, I think no, the okay. Pelicans are there, bro. They're so, right there. So how? So okay. With if, now that we're shifted to the Pelicans, so how do you think Zion is going to do this year? I think he hasn't had enough playing time. I think he's still a bust, bro. I, think, I really do. I think he's, I think he's just, gonna play maybe thirty games, maybe. I think, yeah, Brandon Ingram is what I'm talking about. Okay. Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, I think he's just his body's not ready for every game. Right. Play eighty-two games, he ain't ready for that. No. His body's not ready, and they're gonna babysit his body. People talking high on him, dude. Like talking about like third, averaging thirty a game and all this, whatever. I'm like, double bro, double. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think he can all star, but I think he's he's too heavy. His feet can't take that. I, I think his legs, his knees, all that, because he jumps high as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah. And you know when you jump that high, you gotta land. Well, and he's got a lot of weight that he's exactly. Down. And he's been doing it since what the fifth grade. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, man. I don't know, bro. He just he reminds me a lot of Sean Kemp. Yeah. 
You know, bro, have you seen him lately? Uh, well, that dude, thick ass dude, yeah, dude, <laughs> he is freaking so, awesome, yeah. Bro. So, Zion Williams reminds me of a lot of Sean Kemp when Sean yeah. Kemp was a he was a sick ass athlete, monster, bro. right? Yeah, catching all the lobs, bro. I'm telling you, I think he was he. So, if if Zion can break that and, and just you know, and, and work and just be concentrated on his diet and uh, take the game serious, man, yeah. he takes the game serious, he can be serious trouble. But you think Nestor turned this off already? As soon as we said that, <laughs> done. He shut that he shit off. He, he, he turned did. it off. He did. He did. I, I, I know he did. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, now, nah, uh, but they do have a lot of uh, other assets, though. Pelicans do. Pelicans, sure. yeah, they they got plenty, bro. They got yeah. dude. They got a bunch of young little fucking stars. Even their they got a bunch of players on their bench. They got they can use all that. Man, I'm telling you, let me look up the Pelicans, bro. The Pelicans have a lot of assets that they can get rid of, mm. and once they get Durant, dude, they're they're ready to go. Is it New Orleans? Here yeah. we go. Watch this. Complete Pelicans roster. Dude. It's sick. It's sick. I like the roster, but they got a lot to offer, dude. They got Zion Williams. Then they got CJ. Look, CJ McCollum. I'm about to say, they, yeah, dude. McCollum. And then they got that Herbert Jones. He's doing what a second year. Do sick. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, Brandon Ingram, yeah, that the point guard. That's dude. He's a grinder, bro. From that Jose Alvarado. Oh, bro, that's that bro dude, from Argentina. I think he's from Argentina. That's that, that's bro, a, he is a, that's a sneak, that's that sneaky one. That bro sneaks off in yeah, the corner and yeah, comes yeah. around he, and steals the I ball. I call man. players like that kind of. He has what I do. Well, he'll be sneaking on the side of the of the bench over here, acting like he's hurt. Yeah, they be bringing the ball. He be holding the knee. And he come around. Yeah, that's what I call. He be having like sexual relations with the other team's minds bro <laughs> right. that's what he does he's, he's serious like that yeah. and then they got jonas valenution uh yeah uh larry nan uh bro they got they got assets bro that's all i know they got assets and yeah, uh, sure. i think i think i think i think uh if kd wanted to to start with a go to a young team penalties the Rockets would be intriguing. Is there? Know? I'm not. I'm not like. I'll, I'll be. On, I'll be honest with you. And I've always felt this way. But you know, and I've got, I've caught shit for it. I've never really been a KD fan. No. No. But uh. But um. Is so I don't really He's, follow. I don't really follow up on him. So where is he trying to land? Does Does, does he have any place in mind right now or no? Oh, shit. I mean, dude, the dude. I, I, there's no telling what that dude. I know. He might go back to Golden State. Yeah, that's how crazy that some bitches. Yeah, he might go back to Golden State. I don't know. The dude's twisted, man. Yeah, and and I I, I don't know. Like it, it's hard to tell with him, man, because he he's one of those that'll surprise you. Because who the hell would have thought he was going to go to Golden State after being beat by Golden State? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, exactly. That'd be the last. You'd be wanting them to be a rival. Like exactly. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm pissed off. I don't want to yeah. join you. Yeah. And he did it. And then he wants to. Then he wants to get offended when people clown him for like. Basically buying his championship, jump right, jumping teams. Yeah, <laughs> he basically, basically yeah, bought his championship. Right, yeah. So after that, it's just like he he gets real offended, and he's got he's got history of being very soft of creating that 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 that, that fake Twitter account or whatnot mm-hmm. off, off that burner phone. Yeah. I mean, he he's 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 funny like that, bro. Yeah. He's, I just I don't know, man. Uh, with KD, he's he's a trip. Even Kyrie Kyrie Irving. Yeah, I there's no telling, bro. I know I know LeBron wants him. Well, that's that's LeBron the, wants he wants to run it back with him because yeah you know sometimes you you play and you don't know how good you had it until you're out of it right it's like damn we could have we could have we could have done it several times right yeah Shaq and Kobe yeah you know they let their egos get involved but bro you would have stuck so what you lost to what was it the Pistons you know what I'm saying yeah so what you would have lost you lost to the Pistons man run it back you know right. run it back you know so. You catch players that, that they haven't made and they get out of the situation and they're like, damn, you know what? I don't mind trying it again. So now you got Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, all these people. And it, you never know. Dude, Kevin Durant might even go to Philadelphia or something crazy like that. No, with the, but shit, what's up with Philly, bro? They're up there trying, oh, oh, trying to start the Rockets all over over there. Basically. <laughs> that's the whole Rocket squad. I mean, <laughs> damn. Basically, yeah. Dude, that's uh, they got PJ Daniel House. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, I think they're after Eric Gordon too. If I'm not yeah, yeah, I was gonna say last time, last time I checked that they were trying to get that Gordon. is nuts, man. I, it's just it's crazy. NBA's been crazy, man. I think Boston, I like Boston's pickup with Bron, uh, uh Brogdon. Yeah, yes, I love that pick, bro. For so, some reason, that's what Boston needed this year. I think if they would have had him, they would have gotten a lot. I don't know if they would have beat 
I don't know if they would have beat Golden State, but I think they would have made a lot more, a better attempt of, of making it better a series. Yeah. Yeah, with Brogdon. He, he's, he's one of them tough, mentally tough players. That, that's what you need on the team. He's one of them leaders that I like, you know, mental toughness. He can get you through it, you know. But they were talking about getting uh, uh, trading Jalen Brown. So Jalen Brown yeah. for who? Uh, I just heard that he was uh, that they were talking about trading him. I know the was Knicks. It, uh, I know the Knicks are making a push for uh, for uh, for for Mitchell. Yeah, you know, for Spider Donovan Mitchell. And uh, I, from what I was reading on that issue, that they, dude, they're they're thinking about trading um, Z, uh, R- Julius Randle to the Lakers for Russell Wis- Westbrook. Yeah, and 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 for picks, of course. But they're gonna end up with um, with Donovan Mitchell. But I don't know if Donovan Mitchell is is that player to to throw all your eggs in that basket. You know, he's he's a very complimentary superstar. But I don't know if he's got that 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 that, that winning smart playmaking you know um, ability whenever you're in crunch time. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I, get I think you, he misses the open pass sometimes. I get what you're saying, but I mean, I think I think the same thing could be said about uh, Kevin Durant. <laughs> uh, uh, what's it? Uh, damn it, Jalen Green for sure. And you know what I mean? Green's young, but I mean, bro. that's young, Jaylen though, Green's right? Young. You're talking about, yeah, you're talking about, yeah, that, that he's got a lot of that <clears throat> Steve Francis in him right now, yeah. And hopefully, that's where a veteran player. You know, someone that was actually good in his prime. That's what I'm thinking. Somebody that was actually good in his prime that can come and be a good presence, yeah. you know, to to like talk them and tell them, hey, man, you know, do the smart thing. Or even that's the coaching staff. I think the coaching staff, you get a you get a you get a, a coach who played, you know, gets, mm-hmm. like who was it that just picked up Jason Terry? Uh, one of these teams just picked up Jason Terry. Somebody like somebody, somebody that can be respected because he knows about the game because he played in the game. Right. And he was he was a real he he, he contributed. Right. Yeah. Vitally. Yeah. You know, uh-huh, when yeah. the Jet was on the Mavs, bro, that was, and when he was in Atlanta in his prime, you know, bro, that's watch out, dude. He was a, he's a shooter. Yeah, for you sure. You know, he's a shooter. So I, you got to understand that, okay, he was somebody in the league. So, you know, pay attention to him, see what he yeah. says, you know, Jason Kidd, you know, players like that, you know, you, somebody that you can actually, you know, somebody that you looked up to that you know they got. Steve Nash is one, you know? Yeah. No, 100%. Man. Somebody like that, you know, I don't. <laughs> what 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 sucks though dude what really sucks bro because it, it's funny you brought, you brought up the jet what really sucks is man is that like it doesn't matter what he does in his career man you know what i mean the uh, there's only one thing that he's going to be remembered for bro and that's catching lebron's nuts in his mouth bro you know what i mean just like that's it bro like, that you bring like up so, his name that look like and so that, video game oh, like oh man dude <laughs> that little video game like, like that's bro, a NBA that, shit like right as there. soon as that happened i was like dude it doesn't matter what he did in his career it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all everybody's gonna say hey remember hey so how does lebron's nuts taste <laughs> bro <laughs> yeah he's gonna catch some heat nah, but, uh, that's yeah it. man uh i know me and you were talking about you know that gary payton you know well we we're, were discussing um uh older players sons now that they're in the league fuck we're old but anyway, older players' Man, sons now that they're com- right, yeah. Which starting, <laughs> which starting with uh, which I mean, with, uh, Tim Hardaway, Tim Junior, Hardaway Junior. Right, yeah. which he's killing it in in he's Dallas. Always, yeah, you know what I mean? Would you would you say that he's better than his dad or nah? You know, nah. His dad was like a you know, his it, dad was, was a leader, bro. He, right, for his sure. Dad right, was a leader. You know what I mean, that's what I'm saying. He Junior's that, more of a role player type. Yeah. You know what I mean? His dad, he, he's 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 a uh, he's very animated too. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, which kind of you know kind of pumps you as a teammate, you know, seeing that energy. Yeah. yeah. But sure. no, his dad I think was 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 way better. Like as far as well, he was a starting point guard, so he demanded the ball more. Sure. But I think he's more athletic than his dad for sure. No, yeah, hundred oh, percent. Yeah, yeah. But he can, he still got game, and he got a real good game. You know. Yeah. Um, he's worth keeping. I know for Dallas, you know, that helps him out. I think he probably comes off the bench, you know, as a six man or not. Yeah. But and I, then, I uh, think I think they're gonna be all right. I think the Kings. He's going to be good. And they ended up giving uh, – they got Kevin Horter. Yeah. You know, talking about from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. That was a I, – I, I like that redheaded kid, man. I think he's going to be good, man. <laughs> I think he's going to be good in that team because yeah. he kind of got lost in Atlanta. You know, he can he can definitely uh, – with the ball more, I think he can make some noise. But that is going to be good, man. 
that yeah. is going to be real good with the addition of Christian Wood, you know, which I think we we couldn't get rid of his, uh, his he was a headache. I don't know why people are like that. It was like you get the chance of a lifetime. Yeah. You finally get the bag. You know bro, what I'm saying? Yeah, seriously. And then man. you're gonna be, it's you're like, gonna act an ass, bro. Yeah, no, How are you gonna, you gonna just walk off the team like during the middle of a game, like done? I, same thing with uh, with Porter Jr. Man, well on our squad, you know he's yeah. he's a head case, and I don't understand. Like we gave him the upper, you know, an opportunity, and people are afraid that us having, you know, Porter Jr. on the team is going to rub off on our young stars, young players. Yeah, and uh, I hear from what I, I think it might be worth getting rid of him, man, just because you don't want that cancer. Right, you know, so he you can be a cancer. Team, it can be affect sure, you, man, man, as a team. And you can be, you know, being that they see him as somewhat of a leader, right. and he's acting an ass. But well, shit, I can act like an ass. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But that's why I'd rather have hard nosed players. You know, that no. I think chemistry overall. If you get man, I'm telling you, uh, and me and Esther have always said, you, you let us be a GM. We're not gonna go after these high dollar. Pl- I think I can build a good squad with with, with the minimum amount of money, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. I really can, you know. I yeah. really can, and I, I think I can teach them that spin move around picks that I've always told you to teach your kids. But you did you, to, bro? Did that? Did you? Shit. Did you watch the movie Hustle? Mm-hmm. I got it. I got I saw it. it like four times. Did you? Already. Yeah. Okay. You saw it. it. Well, no, no, I'm talking about the, the spin move that I was talking about. I gotta, I gotta watch it again to and, catch it and I tell might've... you what minute to watch because they, they do it. They, Cruz did they, it. No, it was some <laughs> dude or whatever in one of like one of the pickup games. Yeah, but I don't see it in the NBA, around. bro. No, nah, yeah, nah. Why? Know? I don't know. Why? People rather get stuck fighting through a pick, right? Instead yeah. of just here's the pick, roll, use the right. body and roll, and you stick when you stay with the man. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. Why? I yeah. don't. When I played it, it was effective. Right. Well, that's very. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like. Our generation and today's generation, there's hard, there's no defense now. But nobody taught me that. That's something right. that I got. Something yeah. that I just except for Coach Matthews. No, fuck that's that dude, it. bro. He didn't teach you <laughs> shit, but he taught us how to lose, bro. Yeah. You know what he coach Matthew? Sorry, bro. He's sorry as hell. <laughs> he didn't play with me and Nestor together. If he was a smart coach, he'd have played us together. Oh, he, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. That's a bullshit, bro. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. now you now you, now you touch the nah, now you touch the nerve, bro. No, he did not teach me that. I t- I taught myself. <laughs> anyway, I taught myself. Okay, all right, man. We are. You taught yourself. <laughs> right. uh, Coach Matthew, y'all, y'all always talking. About that, <laughs> yeah, wow, bro. Hey, what's up with the the Timberwolves, huh? Do you like that go Gobert- the Rudy Gobert signing there? The little trade. Oh yeah, that was oh, good. Those first picks. Gobert. though. Yeah. God, hey, could you imagine if if whoever trades for Durant, how many first picks they're gonna want? First round picks if they got that much from Gobert, bro. Ouch. Holy shit! <laughs> they got a <laughs> lot of first round picks. Yeah, but nah, man, nah. But anyway, getting back to the uh, the players' sons. Yeah. All right. So that's bro. That's got to be a lot of. That's got to be a lot to live up to. Cause like Sharif, right? Which is Shaq's son. That's right? impossible, He's just, man. Dude. Yeah, I know, right? That's imp- and I feel but, bad for LeBron's son, Bronny. Oh, I know, right? coming up. Dude, that's gonna it, be it, tough, what's, what's man. sad though is man, what's sad is that he's even moved, he's moved down mm-hmm. in the rankings. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, he's moving like that, that more down. He's yeah. gonna get drafted just because of his fucking name, bro. That sucks. That's shitty because they're that. gonna people that are way better talented wise. Exactly. They're gonna be like, what the hell? See, that's where the, he's he, and that's what's gonna be tough because he's gonna there, he, he's gonna get drafted higher than the ones that right. should have gotten drafted in his spot. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna I think it's going to affect him in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? It's got to affect him now in, playing in the leagues that he's playing now, dude. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's so messed up. Like, dude, Michael Jordan's kids, bro. Yeah, I know, right? You know, what the it's going to be a big bro, disappointment, that's... too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, damn. Uh, we, we saw uh, Shaq's daughter in Vegas when we were there. Wow. And she, Gigi. she could ball. She could ball. Gigi? She could ball. The one that, the one sure. that was in the, in the, in the plane with him? No, what are you talking about? I'm not I'm talking about Shaq's daughter. Oh, I thought you said Kobe. My bad. My no, bad. No, no, Shaq's, Shaq's, daughter. Shaq's daughter be playing too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, she's tall I thought you said too. Kobe. I'm over here thinking Kobe. No. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I was like, but, oh, yeah. shit, I thought yeah. she just died. <laughs> that's no. so messed up. <laughs> that's messed up. But no. anyway, all right. So Sharif, he ain't gonna be shit. Um, no, nope. Bronny's not gonna be shit. No, nope. uh, who's uh, who we else? We talked to Gary Payton Jr. He's a he. Yeah, he's a right. he, he won't be some mad ups, huh? He won't be his dad, but he's got but that he's, tenacity. He's definitely, you right. can tell that it's in his bloodline. Yeah, 
that, 100%. That, yeah. What's wrong with his gun, though? <laughs> <laughs> that don't... <laughs> I was born like that, so I can't, Lieutenant Dad. What you ready, bro? For real. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, who else? Is, who else? Is I was born like that, so. <laughs> but now nah, that Lofton kid, though, that dude there, he got a shot. Mm-hmm. He got he big body. He can. He's got a quick first step for being a big guy. Mm-hmm. And that step, I, I was watching. I'm like, I look at shit like that. Just the footwork. Yeah. The footwork, the shake and bake. He's got the little shake and bake, you know, little fucking dream shake with him. And it's the, he loses players with his shape. You know, it's a yeah. big body. Boom, boom. And I seen that he's just got a little one and he's a lefty too. So that's hard to defend a lefty. Yeah. I saw that, man. And then I saw how he manhandled. Holy shit. I saw how he manhandled. That, was, that, that wasn't too hard, though. Right. No, he manhandled like he was nothing. And that's what the thing about Holmgren. I think he's going to he's going to struggle. And I. I He's I'm, definitely going to struggle. I'm high on him as far as he's got sick potential. And, and, no, and he's not sure. that far as far as his uh, dribbling ability yeah. and how he can create for himself, especially if he catches somebody his size, like a big a big power forward. He's not going to be able to handle them inside. He can take them, I think, on the outside nah, with yeah. a nice first step or a, or a crossover. Yeah. He's going to lose big bodies. Like It's just whenever they start throwing the, the Draymond Greens on his ass, even freaking Eric Gordon, I think, right. on him, uh-huh. he's going to catch them low. They're going to be able to stop him, you know, somebody that's bulky, you know. That but, man, that, that's what I don't understand, though. Like, like while, whenever he was in Gonzaga, like, you think their trainer, like, a couple years ago would have been like, dude, you need to bulk up, bro. Like you're gonna, you're probably gonna go top five. You and know he what I mean? So has. you need to bulk up now. And he probably has. He's probably tried. It just, it's just, it's, it's hereditary wise. You know, just like our poor boy Nestor. You know, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. You know, yes. it's uh, it's that gene that you can't do nothing about. Boy eats. Nestor should be like four hundred fifty pounds a month. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, uh, Bro, Rios, dude. They do eat whatever they want, man. Nah, but Rios is active. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's he, very he, true. It's just crazy, bro. I, I don't get it, but it is what it is, man. But uh, anyway, all right. So what else we got? Uh, uh, that uh, that's it for the uh, the Suns, huh? The Suns, I yeah, they're just we just we anyway. just going. I mean, over, they have other ones and shit. But, we were going know, over whatever. the draft and just uh, the Jaden Ivy. Yeah. How uh, I, I'm still high on him. I didn't really hear or see much of him during summer league. I like I, I was high on Keegan Murray. I thought he was going to be a sleeper. He did win the summer summer league uh, MVP. Yeah. So and then that dude's the, the Matherin Matherin from from the Pacers. Oh God, that dude that dude's going to be sick. He's a sick scorer. He's going to be a good scorer, man. Yeah. He's very very confident about himself, man. And uh, I think uh, that that other one uh, is uh, Jovic. From mm-hmm. uh, Miami, Nicole was it Nicola? Nicola, Nicola jo- Jovich. Jovich. yeah, bro, man. Hey, that dude yeah. got he got a game on him. Man. He got yeah, a good shot, mean, nice yeah. size, yeah, nice size. But uh, I like Terry, uh, Tari Eason, Eason for the Rockets, man. I think he's gonna be Eason. He's gonna good start. One. I have a feeling he's gonna start. You think so? I think he's gonna start. I think so. I think he's gonna start. He's gonna, he should be in the, like in the right start. off the bat, or you think uh, you're gonna give him maybe 20 games? Uh, no, I think he's gonna start the season. Damn. I think so. I think him and Sangoon up there. Yeah. And then uh, um, I'm not sure if they're going to use Jay Sean Tate. Yeah. Maybe start him at power forward. But if you want, it depends on the lineup that they're playing. Sure. There's going to be I, if me. I would use him if you got a taller player. And if you got a tall, a, more of a shorter, you know, uh, power forward that is like a, a sharpshooter, mm-hmm. I would probably put Jay Sean Tate, you know. But uh, Tyree Eason, I would put because he's a great defender, but he can guard he can guard anything, man. Mm-hmm. Tyree Eason can guard anything one through five, in my opinion, bro. He's very focused on that defensive end, man, and he's got a good game offensively. I'm really high on him, man. I, I think that uh, Jabari Smith, he's gonna he's he's a great shooter from everything that I've seen and everybody that's been they're talking about. He's one of the best shooters in the draft. No, I, and, and I like, agree. What the hell? Are I you thought he, I, I honestly thought he should have went first overall. Really? And I'm really glad that we got him. Yeah. yeah. I, people thought that that but, was uh, a steal. And I mean, but I mean, I, I think everybody thought that he was going to go first. And, and I, I was like saying. actually stoked about getting Ben Carroll. Yeah, I so was, was I. So yeah, I, was, right. I wouldn't have been mad. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have been I mad. I just like, wow, because of how, but, but man, but definitely the way it went. I, I just didn't, we looked want, out. I didn't want Chet. 
I didn't either. I didn't, I just, I didn't. And I'm gonna feel I like happy I'm gonna that. feel like a, I'm gonna feel like an idiot if he breaks out and just becomes this superstar, bro. Yeah, I don't because see he it. has that potential. He does. And because if he can just get, I mean, Kevin yeah. Durant. Because I guess he's. Like, I guess oh, people look. think that he's just supposed to post up, right? And if he and if they don't use him as a post up player because he's seven foot and they use him more of a perimeter and like maybe post up, but not in the paint, yeah. just kind of work your way back from the three point line and then create your own move. Just like Kevin Durant does. He usually has his own little dribble back, you know, right outside the free throw line and either one dribble or two dribbles to the right off, mm-hmm. off of a pick right. stop and pop. If yeah. he can do that, bro, I don't even think he needs a pick. Just, a, just a little dream shake, turn around the other way. He's so damn tall. He releases high. Ain't nobody going to block that. Yeah. He's that's what I'm saying. If they use him in that, and that matter where you know what, let's use his height and his shot. He's got a shot. Work the offense around yes, him, yes, bro. Like, rather than real, like no, I mean, the... have other off offense sure, where right, you can yeah, have Giddy nah, run yeah, it yeah, right, and do this. Yeah. But I think me, uh, if I was coaching, I wouldn't mind having Chet because I know how I can I, I, I can utilize him. Yeah, I can utilize a player like that with that athleticism. That I can use him real good. Shit, I'd even have him running point, bro, from the top. He can create a lot of mismatches on a high pick and roll on top. Yeah, what he probably needs, what he's probably just like Greek freak, just needs three steps and he's already at the basket. That's it. And you can dish, you know, if you can dish to your players, you know, shoot, man. I think, uh, yeah, it like, sucks, bro. Because if, I, if he was probably 40, 50 pounds heavier, oh then I'd be God. like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's because let's on the defensive end is what but, I think he's yeah. gonna. But that's he's just gonna get. A, he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of blocks. Mm-hmm. He's gonna have a lot of blocks, but I think they're gonna be weak side blocks or him helping off and coming in and blocking on a penetrating player. If it's gonna be a big body, he a little up and down face. He's gonna get. I think, in my opinion, he's gonna get in a lot of foul trouble. Because yeah. he's real aggressive with his shot blocking uh, mindset, yeah. that he he's probably going to struggle, kind of like Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies mm-hmm. struggled a lot because he's a real good uh, he's good at block once he's committed, but he struggles a lot staying on the court because of fouls. Yeah. So if he can stay on his feet and not jump at every putt fake and keep his hands up because he can probably block everything up high. It's just are they going to by the time he goes back he's going to be under the rim on right. the opposite side of the rim then. They're just gonna use the the rim a, 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 as as a protector, right. you know, against his blocks. So yeah, that's what sucks. But yeah, forty pounds, dude, deadly, mm-hmm. deadly, bro. No, hundred percent. I agree. I so, agree. I know we had brought up a topic or whatever about um, the salaries that they're giving these dudes. Wow, they're wow. getting like they're getting football numbers, bro. Almost baseball numbers beyond yeah, that ain't for they? sure yeah it was like what 50 million a year or something like that i, I think it's absurd bro. that's ridiculous bro i don't, I don't think I don't anybody's know, worth that bro. much money dude i, it, I just ridiculous. that's on us though bro oh yeah i say i say we, you blame us because we, we're so hyped and, and going to the games and, and watching all these games and yeah and like the Man, fans can you, bro say, can you imagine how much these owners are making bro my goodness to pay gracious. to be able to pay them that oh you know? my god they're Ooh. they're rolling in money bro they're rolling in money and it's insane and i just don't understand like how it's possible that this kind of money is even available for 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 a career it, of, of playing in a game Wait, right <laughs> there's people <laughs> out there like that's what like, i'm saying dude bro doctors and nurses i mean people that actually matter in life like you can you can live life and be okay without athletes, bro. Yeah. You know? Mm. But, dude, you need nurses and and, and, and teachers. Cops, firefighters. Cops, firefighters. Shit, oh, my God, bro. Yeah. You need that, you know? And They're then, having to work, like, yeah. two or three jobs and, and shit. I feel bad for my yeah. boy over there, uh, <laughs> Jeff. 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 Jeff Lyons. He, be, he, be, he, be, he, he hates Sylvester Turner. I know that dude hates of this. A lot too. of them do, man. Calvin, bro, Calvin Parker, Calvin, shout out to yeah, Calvin, man. Uh, hey, T.J. Davidson, shout out to him. Bro, like, and what is the deal, do. bro? Like, yeah, well, that yeah. is so messed up, man. It's yeah, like, man. I, I feel bad. I feel like, man, y'all, y'all should probably just yeah. go be cops. I would have quit already. I would have quit and win a cop. The yeah. hell with it. I mean, he, he looks out for his PD, HPDs, and 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 cops and stuff, man. So, yeah, yeah that sucks, man. Because <laughs> dude, they're in the they're in, they out there really doing some real. Yeah, saving man. lives, yeah, not like those yeah. Uvalde cops over there. Yeah. 
in, in, in San Antonio and let all those kids die. Oh, you know what bro. I'm saying? Yeah, dude, and then you're going to tell me that they're the ones, Sylvester Turner's, like that kind of people out there right, trying yeah. to pay money? For, man, come on, yeah. man. Yeah, no, a firefighter would have went in there with an axe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Real, though. <laughs> they you ain't lying, lying, though, dude. You're not lying, I mean, bro. damn, bro. Like yeah. that, I, I was just in San Antonio and uh, I wanted to go, I wanted to go take a, a detour, detour and go look. Body. Yeah. Just to go see that school and all that. And I'm like, my wife was like, no, nah, I can't. I can't. I was like, come on. See, I, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole, the whole deal, man, is it's interesting. That's another podcast. That's why That's whenever podcast, whenever you but... went to Vegas, I was like, man, go visit, go, go rent that that hotel the room. Hotel where the dude when, got shot. Bro, when he made that, when he was killing all those people by himself, right? My mind. That's a, I, don't, I don't believe that, bro. Yeah, that's, that's insane. That's a patsy, bro. I, I don't know. I, yeah, but, I, but yeah, no, a hundred percent. And there's a lot of cases that are like that too, man. Man, you know I mean? it's insane. insane, bro. It's yeah. insane, bro. But then, man, I say this NBA season is gonna be fun, Chris. I say it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be glued onto the screen this year. I feel like because of all the acquisitions and all the the. The, the the game the teams man they really uh improved man i think uh it's, it's gonna be fun for sure man i'm excited uh shit i might even play nba fantasy this year that's all i was about to say you I do my bro fantasy looks, this looks, year? If, it, if i do the nba fantasy i guarantee you right now you'd have a lot more detailed info from me bro from each player date of birth all that bro but <laughs> but yeah man it's, i've been rusty man i've been out of the game but i still have it in my blood to look over it man but yeah, I think uh, I think it's gonna be fun, Chris. Um, thank you for for having me over, man. And, oh man, and uh, talking yeah, over. Yeah, no problem, you know, dude. I, I think once the season gets started, once everybody gets fucked, everybody gets uh, in their roles. I think we, I think we should do another one, man. And, no, hundred percent. Do a recap of where of what, what, what we thought of, of what we said and what what had happened. Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask you. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I end these things with the top three, right? Okay, so give me your top three, I guess, rookie prospects for this year. I know you had said probably a couple of them already. Rookie prospects, man, or one, um, ones that ones that are that that are that you think are overhyped, or underhyped, or okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I, know? A home, a home, I think Chet might be overhyped the way, but I think rookies that, that are gonna they're they're gonna be like, wow, man, he could have went higher. I want to say Matherin from Indiana. Uh, I think Kenny Lofton Jr. Uh, given playing time. If there's an injury, if I'm not mistaken, then Jerry Jackson Jr. might be coming off an injury. If he's able to get minutes, you know, um, and earn some playing time, yeah, I think he's gonna be able. He's, he's gonna people gonna talk. People gonna talk about him. People gonna talk about him and be like, wow. But uh, Keegan Murray, man, Keegan Murray, Keegan I think Murray, is gonna yeah. be the one that's a standout. I think uh, just like uh, Scotty Barnes kind of threw everybody off this past season. Yeah, it's uh-huh. like what? How, like, where the hell did he come from? That's what you know I say. What no, saying? he wasn't even on anybody's he radar. He wasn't no, yeah. bro. And I give Toronto Raptors uh, the GM over there lots of credit, man, because that, that dude, that dude playing like you know, look, he got a lot of a lot of Scotty Pippen uh, kind of like game in him, and that's something we need to probably do, like maybe compare some of these players to uh, some uh, ex, some uh, old players that maybe compare their game to somebody else to see who they remind you of. And I think that'd be fun too, man. Uh, but we'll probably, if you want, you know, later on recap and see where we fall on uh, on our predictions and stuff. Was that three? Did huh? you get three? Or yeah. Was that three? Okay. I think that was three. Yeah. That was Scotty Pippen's son was one we forgot about too. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't even think he's going to hold a candle to his dad, dude. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, nah, he's not. It's sad too, he's bro. Not, I like know. I mean, like like where's the disconnect, man? Because I mean, why? Wow, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. even if you don't have his physical ability, like the mindset, like mm-hmm. why can't that be enough to get you to where? Like if you have the same mindset like your dad, you know, right? Like that should be enough to get you where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of skill there, just knowledge wise, that I'm, these I'm, players can get by. I'm wondering if it's a uh, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's if it's the way they grew up. You know what I'm saying? Because Scottie Pippen had it rough and growing up, or whatever. So he just he wanted he, like, and his wife was a hoe too, huh? <laughs> big one. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> but uh, but I know you saw uh, the or was it the last dance, right? Like mm-hmm. his his dad and it was it his brother or something like that were both in a wheelchair. Oh shit! Right? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. So like he had like he basically had to bring the bread. Yeah, to yeah, the table. yeah. That's why he signed that stupid right, ass deal, and he was rags, upset about so could, it. Right, exactly. I'm like, dude, that, that's your fault, yeah, bro. Because I think right? was it his brother or his uncle or somebody yeah, was his agent. Yeah, and man, yeah. they were just desperate. <laughs> that's stupid. Yeah, that's stupid, mm, right? They that's, were desperate. Bro. Like, yeah, and then he then he wants to get pissed off. Yeah, and, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you ain't got nobody to be pissed off at it except for yourself, yeah. you know? And it's, but, get, it's getting ridiculous, though, with these players demanding trades, man. It, uh, and Yeah, and that's another thing that pisses me off, too, bro. Like, hey, but you know what? Harden did – he did the unimaginable just the other day. He's taking a pay cut. Mm-hmm. He's taking a pay cut, you know? Now yeah. he's being unselfish. Why, maybe his, his skills have diminished. Okay. So now Probably. you're like, and, well, and well, real, I don't deserve this kind of money. Real life, exactly. He so I yeah. give 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 whoever we need to be, and I give me the rest. He's getting desperate for a yeah. ring, is what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's doing. yeah for sure. Yeah. And then they're but, creating the rockets. But that's good though. Maybe he humbled himself. You know what I mean? To you know, I think that was the biggest problem whenever he was here. Yeah, and, you but see, I mean? you, you see, you see the uh, the what's his name, uh, Sil- uh, Adam Silver. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, he's talking, you know, he's he's being loud about it, about Kevin Durant, you know, and, yeah. and all these players requesting like, come on, man, you, you're you're messing up the game. Uh, exactly. 100 percent, dude. Like but now that, you can that, dictate where you want to go. That's all athletes, though. You that's know what I'm saying? That's football, too. Come on. You know man. what I mean? You can't do that, man. You're going to nah. you're going to push people away. Eventually. And then you're and then they, and then they pull a John Wall. So like, oh, I'm not going to play this season. I, dude, and then you you're still I mean? paying them, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my bro, the hell out of you Jeez, oh, Sean man, Watson, cool. yeah. you know, he wants to use the excuse that oh, I've been already sitting out, so that should be like time served. Oh, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't because of that was because yeah. of you. Yeah, you think he should be suspended? Because um, all all the shit said all the shit's been dropped. Um, so do you think the NFL should still suspend they him? Said, I mean, no. that's tough because, I mean, you're just going to assume that he did do it. I right. mean, he settled it. Yeah. So by him settling, it almost makes me feel like the victims were after some money. No, yeah, because if it was yeah. real, you're not going to settle. You're no. going to take it to, to the end, even if that, even if you even if you come out of it making nothing. Right. But you have to expose and you have to fight for what was done wrong to yeah. you. Yeah, because I'm not, you know? not, not going to lie. If I was made to put my finger in somebody's butthole, I would not settle for any type of money in this world. <laughs> in this world. I'm not doing it, dude. I'm not doing it. Damn, okay, but it's Deshaun like, Watson. They're like, they're, they're like 300 million. No, <laughs> no. Okay, five. Okay, Bro. listen, half a billion. No. <laughs> Come on, I got to stick your thumb up my ass. Come on. Bro, everybody got a price, bro. Come on. No, yikes, bro. That's crazy. That dude's thrown off, bro. Yeah, dude. But he's been doing that shit since college, bro. dude. For real, I've been hearing that dude's been doing that shit since college, bro. That's, dude, that's he weird. like me in his prostate milk, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, bro, yeah, dude. And what's funny is that Nestor was all high on him, too, bro. Like, dude, kind of makes huh? you it makes you on think. Deshaun Watson, yeah, I was, he bought the jersey. Uh, and everything. I called, I <laughs> called that pig. I remember, man. I said, No, don't get Johnny. I said, Get, get Deshaun Watson. And they got him, man. They traded for him, man. I he, I saw him in college. That dude, was, he was. And nah, nah, he, nah. He's good for sure. He, he's like, good, man. He's yeah. he's worth it. But I just, man, <laughs> could you imagine the shit that he gets at, at, in the locker room or no? You know, no, nah. I mean, yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I, he he has to catch some shit. Imagine like Whatever. when we play but football, dude, bro. You can't, don't let me find out. I'm a rock. You, bro, you bro. can't possibly tell me that he's the only one that does that. Get his finger up his ass. Yeah. There's got to be other dudes or whatever that do that too, right? You know what I mean? Like, uh, was it? Uh, um, damn it! I was just talking about this with Bowles uh, when this whole thing started. I was talking about with Robert Bowles. You talking uh, about like actually uh, getting massages? No, no, no. Talking about like why doesn't he? Why like he was just so blatantly why don't stupid just, about it. You know what I'm saying? Is Wasn't it, it uh, Warren Sapp? He used to like he was. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm after this game. I'm gonna go shower, whatever, and then I'm gonna go buy me some prostitutes. Oh wow! That's he was just out about oh, it. You know wow. what I'm saying? But that, like, wow. do that, but bro. Do that. No, I think, instead of, I know, think it's more, it's more the challenge, the chase, the, guess, the, the, the fact that he just convinced somebody to do. You know what I'm saying? It's too easy to, 
to hire somebody where they just arrive and they take their clothes off and whatnot. And then y'all get down and dirty, you know, there's no talking. He just like, Oh, she's coming here for a massage. I'm going to convince her to do this. He was that sick. He was that sick in the mind, bro. That's uh, insane, dude. Yeah. But That's Deshaun insane. Watson is, is something else, bro. I yeah. know he getting shit. He's, he, they're talking mess about him in the, in the locker rooms, bro. Oh, yeah, 100%. I just man. don't see how that, that can get, that doesn't like become some, like, he's not fighting teammates. You right. Know? Yeah. Right. I mean, are they, you do you respect them that much to where you're not going to make a joke? Come on. Even the coaching staff got to say something, man. Right. right. Oh, it was like after the practice or stuff, after one of the practices, this is whenever he was still in, um, uh, in Houston and they're all walking out or whatever. And he's not playing. Right. He just decided to, uh, whatever sit out mm-hmm. or whatever and I yeah yeah and he's walking and this one they were middle of the in the middle of the investigation he's walking back or whatever and he's like why are y'all filming me why same you, shit why, different day i was like why are you guys filming me and i'm like well, I'm, you I'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking of whatever. Really if, I, want me to if say. I was there i'd be like because you like you like fingers in here <laughs> that's odd bro <laughs> that's odd bro <laughs> Damn, that's crazy bro that's nuts man i, I it's it's it's, it's, it's hard to to get past that because he he was he was he was going to change our 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 um uh, our team man our organization was, yeah, to, nah, to the positive was, side that, that but because we had that christian that that, that christian racist of, of a of a owner may he rest in peace <laughs> no nah, it was his son it was oh, his, oh, son. Yeah. About his and son bill yeah. i just man man we had a good squad and they just went to shit now it's gonna take forever for us to get back Dude, yeah, 100%, I remember, bro. man. It was yeah. we could reminisce about the Texans, and we were so close. It was you know? so close, bro. But anyway, all right, man. Well, it was fun. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you coming through. All that stuff. Um, we should do this we'll, uh, in a bigger, bigger gathering. Bigger. No, nah, yeah. yeah. maybe be, uh, maybe Nestor can join us again. Yeah, uh, then on the next one. But um, I'm not gonna say he wasn't. He, I'm not gonna say he was missed. Nah. You know, no, we no, handled no. it. Oh, we do it. We do it. We do it again. <laughs> we can pull it off <laughs> anyway. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, you guys, whatever. If you agree with us, comment. If you don't agree with us, give us your comment. Yeah, you give, know us your give us your on opinion it. on it. So yeah, whatever. see who the real expert is out here in the in the side of town, huh? Yeah, definitely. We'd like yeah. to hear it. Maybe y'all can uh, come in here and we can debate it. We we're supposed to get some young bucks debating with us. I know, man. They're we'll so, make it happen. They're so they're they're so worried about uh-huh. other things, man. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna come back to this once season starts and all that and everything. So and we'll guys we'll keep you guys updated and all that. But in the meantime, support local. Always, Rusty Buckle. Great food, Rosati's great food. Uh, Buster Brown, Buster, or yeah, 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 Buster Brown, right in the mornings or whatever for breakfast and stuff on Saturdays and stuff. They got great food, or they're open during the week too. Um, who else? What else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, La Taquisa, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, um, no, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. now go see. Hey, my uh, 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 some guy I just met, man, and my boy introduced me to uh. Oh, chicken heads, man! Chicken heads, right there. Yeah, head. no, that chicken place. Yeah, in the, um, the, the, uh, the food zone. Yeah, on thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, Victor's yeah. his name, man. Uh, yeah, go support his spot. I know. Go I was stuff. gonna, I was gonna go talk stuff, to him man. and have him on here too. Yeah, I can, I can, I can tell him. him I can tell him come in. Yeah, here. Holl- uh, Victor, I'll, I'll give you one yeah. of my cards to give to him. Cool. And we'll see. What's Already, up. bro. And then, um, uh, with, he's got a good story behind behind him, man. Yeah, he's got a great story behind his little setup and how he got started. And he should be good to have on here. During yeah, for sure. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. During the uh during the summer, you know, you got uh school shopping's about to ramp up and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, that means um more robberies, more carjackings and stuff like that or whatever. If you need um self-defense classes, go see my boy Lonnie Vickery over at 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. Nice. He's on 1314 too. Nice. Um, if you have car problems, go see my brother in law Billy at uh, Billy's Auto Service. Go say hi to my niece Sabrina, they'll treat you right for sure. But uh, but yeah, now nah, once we whenever we do these sports things and stuff, whatever, we're not talking about, like, I like to throw you know, yeah, local businesses and all sure, that stuff man. out we gotta there. Support for sure. them, man. Yeah, 100%. Gotta support them. That's but, love. Anyway, all right, guys, we'll, we'll be back in touch with you. Uh, so this is Eddie Flores. 
the guru, find him on uh, Facebook or comment down here, or whatever. He'll be sure to get back to you or whatever. If you have any questions or comments or, mm-hmm. you know, let us know. Um, but in the meantime, you guys know what to do already. Stay, uh, stay safe. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay solid. Keep your circle small.